Um, okay, so up next we have David, um, head of BD at Transient Labs, uh, previously at Super Rare. And David's going to be telling us what they have uh, coming up for the future. Hey, everybody. How's the NFC going for y'all? Woo! Well, my colleague Chris was supposed to be here. And two days ago, he said my passport uh, was expiring and they wouldn't let him fly out. So I came from Tennessee. He sent me the presentation and it said, you're going to be debuting this new phenomenon, what we call the next wave. So let's get into what we're talking about today. Some of you may know us. We've been around for the last two years. We started essentially partnering with artists like Rip Cash, Public Private, Patrick Amidon, uh, Doppelganger, Claire Silver. We did something on Arbitrum. We did a Be More Based uh, with Coinbase just last week. Carborn and uh, Shalom's, uh, we did a uh, Moon Cycle. So we've been partnering with artists to help them bring their arts and creativity to the blockchain. And our goal always has been to empower creators and help them build different. So we've been founded by two aerospace engineers. I met Ben and Marco at Super Air uh, while I was there. They were building these insane dynamic art contracts in photography that change based on the time of day. Our goal always has been to help creators build different and think creativity. And what could they do with these digital objects that are just different than a JPEG? Well, I think if we thought through the last couple of years, you would say, pack it up, it's over. Where have we been? I don't want to talk what we've done before. I want to think what's coming. And today we're going to discuss what we're doing that is totally different than what we're used to. And you might notice Jack Butcher has this uh, saying, we're all here. If you're here, we can all see. I can see all of you with my eyeballs. The more that you can see in the middle once in a human history, we are going through a human transition from a physical store value to something that is digital. With the number of digital objects that have exploded over the past couple of years, we are just beginning to see what is possible. So I don't think I need to convince anybody here why we are here and what the power of NFTs and digital objects are. I've met people that have flown from New Zealand. I came from Tennessee. I've met people from Japan, China. We're all here because we believe in, in the opportunity of digital objects. One thing remains clear, everything, everything will be tokenized, whether it's our real estate, whether it's a JPEG, whether it's a, I'm wearing one right now for merch. There's a chip in here that I can literally scan and prove that I went to this event or that I'm wearing this uh, uh, jacket to prove that this is an authentic merch. I think today and yesterday we've looked around and I've asked a lot of people that aren't in this space. There's a lot of Web2 creators and I said, what do you think of NFTs and what are your thoughts? And they usually say, oh, isn't that like the cartoon picture PFPs or oh, my friend got scammed or oh, I bought this uh, asset that I thought was going to go up. I think what we've been seeing, the promise of the blockchain of what we thought we would get and what we were sold didn't exactly transpire. What we were sold was mostly commoditized, speculative, essentially a, a shitcoin with a picture on it. But yet there is hope. We have now the ability to utilize these tokens because we've built a design layer which allows anybody, creators, collectors, brands, to be able to uh, interact with these tokens. So it's not just a JPEG that has one single use, where it's just a piece of art that tells you how much was it bought, how much was it sold, the, the physical uh, provenance of how the quantifiable data. You now have the ability to push what's possible and put qualitative aspects with on the blockchain. The next wave of NFTs is going to show the world what is possible with this world of technology. So 
we are here because we are Transient Labs are here to announce a new breed of digital objects and NFTs, unlocking virtually unlimited utility from this phenomenon. A programmable digital asset called an ADO, and what we're calling an advanced digital asset. We don't want people to have the connotation that NFTs are uh, vapor JPEGs, cartoon picture monkeys, because there's so much that you can do with this application. What's been missing is on the front end for UI and UX for us to connect and be able to utilize these and connect with the collectors and connect with the brand partners, collect with their uh, community. So today we're announcing and launching the ADO that provides the same utility that we're used to. Provenance, valuable security, scarcity, and the store of the assets. So what we're used to, we're not saying that this is a brand new phenomenon, but we're putting a layer on what's possible. So we built ADOs to differentiate an additional layer of provenance, like inscriptions detailing collector purchases. So anything that you buy on Transient Labs or artists, we have about a thousand creators right now. You're able to, you buy, a to you buy an artwork, you're able to uh, actually write a collector story, inscribe an inscription of where was that showcase? How has it been shown? Has it been shown in our Basel has it been at NFC Lisbon. There's also the ability to see some of the on-chain dynamic interactions and how have you interacted with it. So one of the couple of things that we've done is, is we've done dynamic artworks and interactions. So being able to take API and endpoints, take an artwork that might change based on the time of day, uh, the price of ETH. Uh, you might know Dave Krugman, he did drip drops. So it actually, there was an AI algorithm that counted how many drips were in a picture of a puddle. And that is all within the token. It could include uh, different API endpoints. So if you are a photographer and you wanna see, if you buy this uh, token, you're able to see at eight o'clock in the morning, you'll see that the sun is rising. At eight o'clock at night, you'll see that the, the sun is setting. So now photographers can take these uh, additions and be able to offer their collectors a, a ever-changing dynamic artwork. Other things that we've done is from the financial side. With these tokens, you're able to now offer all sorts of abilities to do metadata updates. So once you sell a token, if you wanted to give the collector, maybe there's a new AI tool and you're a you practice of medium, you're able to switch the metadata so they have a new piece of artwork, but include it so that if they don't like that new artwork, they could actually go back to what they originally purchased. This is all now possible with ADOs. So the space is changing, the technology is changing, the space is advancing, the attention economy, creators that embrace this new phenomenon are now gonna be able to think differently, build differently, and will win with the next wave of digital assets. And it's coming. The next wave is here. And friends, time is now. The wave is here. We've never seen a space that's been more exciting. Everyone in this room has an opportunity to create, build, and develop something that is new. It is up to us to show the world what is possible. We now have all the tools. We created a, a self-service, no-code creator toolkit that anybody can use. All of us are creators. Whether you're uh, an artist that sells for thousands of dollars or you're just getting started, you now have access to these tools to be able to connect with your collectors and community. And I'm gonna leave everybody here with something that we actually launched. Oh, let's see. And there's more. There we go. You can scan this QR code. What everything I talked about today, we actually created uh, an NFT that will exactly show you what we've talked about. It's gonna have a number of features. It's gonna have a dynamic artwork to inscribe. You're gonna be able to write stories on chain. You're gonna be able to put inscriptions. You're gonna be able to see what anybody else puts on this, uh, on this uh, token. 
this is something that you can share. Feel free to let everybody else, let everybody else in the wild that hasn't been here to the NFC, Lisbon, you'll be able to claim the token. You're going to be able to play with a dynamic uh, contract. You're going to be able to see an interactive artwork that uh, uh, you're able to touch. You're going to be able to uh, see how you could update the metadata. Um, and this is all available for everybody to use. So at the end of this, we are in the living room. We would love for anybody to come by. We have a live interactive performance art. So Gabe Weiss is doing a drop. You get start with a JPEG. Then he's doing a live performance art where you actually get your portrait drawn. That's going to be included on the token. So this will be an ever evolving token that's personalized to yourself. And then we have about 40 other artists and exhibitions that we're going to be showcasing. Uh, we're very thankful to just empower creators and just continually to cre create building tools to help you ultimately build your business and build your brand on the blockchain. So we're very thankful for NFC Lisbon for having us and uh, we can't be more excited to be here. Thank you, everybody.